Hi, welcome to today's NetBiz Live demo. Today we're talking about how to test the TCP connectivity with the Telnet. If you're not familiar with Telnet, this is a protocol that allows a um, network administrator to connect to remote hosts such as servers, routers and switches to issue commands. So it's really convenient uh, if you're not if you don't have direct access to a remote host to really um, push commands, put simply. Uh, Telnet is based on the TCP IP protocol, that means it's connection oriented, and the default TCP IP port used by Telnet is port 23. Today, as you probably know, a few people use Telnet because all the communication that goes through a Telnet connection is clear text, so it's not encrypted. For this reason, now, uh, most of uh, vendors replace Telnet with SSH. For example, on Linux, uh, by default, you can see a lot of distribution. They have SSH enabled, but not Telnet. And SSH is used in, uh, uh, in replacement of Telnet because it's all encrypted. So, for instance, um, let's take now how we can use a Telnet to troubleshoot uh, client-server application connectivity. In this example, you can see a typical client-server communication where the client connects to a specific server, generic server, to a certain TCP IP port. So, sometimes happens that between a client and a server, there is a firewall, a network firewall or a host firewall, which is on the server itself. Um, so, how can you... Uh, what? What does happen? If there is a firewall in between, uh, the client won't be able to connect with the server, especially if the firewall is uh, dropping or rejecting connection uh, to certain specific TCP IP ports. So this is, of course, a big problem because if you have a legit uh, connection or uh, application that you want to pass through the firewall, uh, you know, your application is not going to work for your clients. Uh, but how can you know if there is a firewall in between without having you know, direct control of the network, perhaps, where the firewall and the server are installed? Well, this is where like, Telnet comes into uh, play. Uh, you can use Telnet to test from the client perspective if there is a firewall in between or if at least you are able to connect to the remote service. So to do that, use uh, Telnet, space the destination host, which is the IP of fully qualified domain name of the remote server, and then space the destination TCP IP port that is used by the service. So let's see how Telnet not only can be used to, in the end, uh, uh, gain remote uh, shell access uh, to the remote server, but also how to troubleshoot this type of firewall problems. So if you take like uh, a test host here, uh, we stage a test host, test.netbiz.net, for example, and we want to make sh sure that there are no firewalls in between us, uh, the client, and the remote destination. And, you know, nobody's dropping port 2018 in between, right? Whether it's a network, host, network firewall or a host firewall implemented on the server itself, we can do telnet space uh, test.netbiz.net, space 2018, which is the port. And as you can see here, Telnet shows us the IP resolver uh, based on the fully qualified domain name of the server. And then you can see that it gives us confirmation that we're connected to port 2018 on the remote server. Now, let's see an example where there is a firewall in between. Let's see what happens from a Telnet perspective. I do the same thing. I do Telnet space test.netbiz.net space 2018, you can see that I have the correct DNS resolution associated uh, to that fully qualified domain name. And then you can see that Telnet tells me a connection refused, right? And uh, also explain that uh, the host, my client, is not enabled to connect to remote host. So this is an example where there is a firewall in between or on the host or on the remote server that is rejecting my connection. So it's giving a reset to the connection. That means there is a firewall that doesn't allow specifically and explicitly for user to connect to that port. Okay, And this is different with another use case where the firewall drops packet without rejecting. Or also, as people say, this it silently discards 
incoming uh, TCP connection. This is the case on or how Telnet reports this case. If you don't see the prompt, if you don't see any information like a rejection, that means that the remote host is either not online or that the firewall is silently discarding the uh, packets uh, receiving on that specific port. Now here is where you have to do further troubleshooting into, hey, is the host up or is it down or there is uh, maybe a firewall, right? Um, so this is, of course, at least you have the initial information, uh, troubleshooting information that you'll need to see whether or not, uh, you know, you need to contact the administrator or the remote server. With this concludes uh, today NetBiz Live demo on how to troubleshoot TCP connectivity with Telnet. Thank you for your time.